Hello, everyone. I'm Gil Vasquez, the acting director of the Keith Haring Foundation. Our mission is to perpetuate Haring's legacy through his artwork and archives, and by providing grants to children in need and those affected by HIV AIDS. This is a little different. We're thrilled to partner with the MFA to bring Gray to the virtual stage. Gray is a noise art band founded by Michael Holman and Jean-Michel Basquiat, named after the medical textbook Gray's Anatomy. Today, Holman and original member Nick Taylor make up the band and carry its legacy forward. In the exhibition, Writing the Future, Basquiat and the Hip Hop Generation, you're able to see and feel the energy of the 80s downtown scene. In a minute, you'll be able to hear it. Thank you and enjoy the program.
Billy Mays was a king. He lived long ago when air was blue. His royal blood was indigo. His father looked like if Charlie Parker got rich. He crumpled up big money and threw it at people. He had a box of Crayolas with everything but flesh. He looked good in a straw hat. He collected Chesterfield coupons because they were king size. friend of Alfred Hitchcock. He had a ranch in Sandwich Island. Never owed a dime. He conquered space and time. He believed that a good line bears repeating. He believed that a good line bears repeating. Carried a clarinet like a scepter. Made a life mask of aluminum foil and danced out to the velvet ropes. soul thing. He was not just needy. He wore designer suits for coveralls. He windexed windshields and a tux. His heart was big as an arena. He was arrested for laughing with a Muslim. He was a New York giant. He beat Picasso on a technical knockout. He took the crown by the horny horns. 
Boom. Boom for real. Boom. Boom for real. Boom. Boom for real. Boom. Boom for real. Two planes collide in the Brooklyn sky. One survivor, a boy, burned black. Caught in a snowbank, and then you were born. Of the greater Antilles, trilingual at least. Partial to Twain and Gray's Anatomy, gifted, gifted by your mom. mom. Hit by a car the same year Warhol got shot. shot, 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 shot. The artist and the artist in progress splits. splits. West Coasting, on the corner of Market and Speedway, and first you say Hollywood, and then you say what? And you spray El Rey de Los Angeles y Nueva York también on a long fallen fall. We Hollywoods. Africans, sitting in the balcony back row of the movie show, the king of comedy, the projector, projecting the natty dreads on the screen below. The crowd initially confused and then amused. Took you to a Jamaican barber to get faded. But you thought he was conked. Had to explain he was an East Indian, West Indian, as he trimmed up the sides, left it full on top. Went to a club, danced to the dub, and Planet Rock, in shock, to see a Confederate flag sewn to the back of this kid's denim jacket, and you ripped it off him. stomped on it, and then you laughed, and you continued to dance, rock, rock, planet rock, and you don't stop, stop. In the studio, throwing down some Douglas as you rock the canvas, warning about acrylic on a split, as you cross it out, put a crown on it. Then it's Stutter, Mamal, from Mamartin in another movie show. You're on your great justice. And the Empire State Building is on fire. And so is the pizza party. Ain't seen you since. Overheard at a museum, didn't know he was black, thought he was French.
I consider myself a loner. Like many New Yorkers, I came to Gotham to escape petty judgment, spectacle, and small town constraints. Fame and fortune were never a destination and exists merely as a quaint notion full of cornball melodrama and cheap sentiment. A rebel is a paradox. You are free, yet you have no choice. You are stuck within the ethics of your own politic. It's not that I didn't care what people thought, I just Everyone wants control. Everyone wants control. Everyone wants control. My absurd standard and reverence for an idealized sense of cool was elevated and was always more important than my psychological needs. If I didn't listen to advice, it's probably because I never take instruction from people I would never want to be and who live a life I would never want to have. Things burn up on re-entry. Cartoon characters can testify to that. Life is nature and therefore too wild and random to be fair. You can be hurt in church, suburbia, or down a dark alley. It's not an equation concocted in a vacuum, despite the religious constructs of karma, penance, or blessings. It's not that I didn't care what people thought, I just, everyone wants control. 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 Everyone wants control.
everyone wants control. Really, why? Doesn't being out of control have its good points? Watch out for anything that makes you feel in control unless you have a really good sense of humor. It has been said that history is written by the winners. I guess we're to assume that losers do not live to tell their stories. They only die a little bit every day. They leave their bloody handprints across the page, the cave wall, evidence in a crime scene. Like leaving a loaded gun on the floor. Film wall, smoke screen, fade out the end, dust for fingerprints. Step right up. There are plenty of pit stops where you can always pick up new tricks. Dreaming is free. Dreaming is free. Dreaming is free. You might as well enjoy yourself everywhere, because in the end, you're not safe anywhere. However, isn't that part of the fun? Doesn't that up your game? Dreaming is free. Up your game. 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 It's not that I didn't care what people thought. I just, everyone wants control. Everyone wants control. Everyone wants control. Your move, exit stage left.